Please piss my. If you know we did. It's not a video though, is it? No, it's it's a, a new edition yeah. that we have decided to yeah, add. Yeah. It's called Ben and Chris Saturday <laughs> Snippets. <laughs> Basically, for like the little bits of bobs, it's not going to be like a, a long vid. A long video, and it's not going to be every Saturday, but every time we do something small yeah, on a car cool. that warrants its own video, yeah, yeah. we're not going to make it a Wednesday release. We'll make it a Saturday Snippet. <laughs> He come up with the idea actually. You come up, you come up with the name. We're going to try and uh, make a little jingle, aren't we, at the beginning? That'd be great, yeah. well, we'll come up with something. We'll come up with something. Uh, as a different intro and all that. But anyway, what are we doing on today? Snap, snap, right, guys. Snappity snacket. Snappity snacket. Saturday, Saturday snippet. snippet today, guys. Well, as you know, on the video that went out this Wednesday, just got out. Um, the hose, the slight, hose video. Yeah, I had a slight problem with the hoses on my. Well, not from the hoses. Such, I can't but, is it. <laughs> Just to keep coming. Sorry. <laughs> you can't just do it. Um, yeah, I broke the uh, air. What's it called? It's not called that. I'm not telling you. The air assist control valve. That's the one. Uh, yeah, broke it off. Little plastic bit. Yeah, the idle. Sorry, yeah. Idle, idle, idle air valve. assist control valve. <laughs> That's the one. Um, yeah. so Which yeah, is this? Broke the plastic off of it. We, uh, we were going to get a new one from Tegua, and uh, obviously our lovely sponsor Danny at Dino Days. Yeah, Danny, nice one. Was going to hook us up, but they were completely out of stock, and Chrissy needed it, so I managed to source a second hand one on. Oh, we've got his card there, we'll give him a shout out because that was very good service. Grab the card off the table. Oh, right. And uh, come on, bitch. Oh, uh, this sat in snippets taking forever. And uh, yeah, it was 30 quid, yeah, and they're about, the parts, they're about 90 quid. On the parts specialist. Yeah, um, Honda Addicts, they're Honda called. Addicts. We got off of him for 30 bucks. And that there, the bit coming out the side, is it's the bit that's right. snapped off. It so, so today's great. Saturday snippet, we're going to show you how to change your idle control valve. That's what it's called. Yes. So there we go then. And so. also, also oh. I've got to add something. I know a lot of comments are going to be, well, you can blank them off, you can blank them off, do this, that. Yeah. It's there for a reason. That's exactly. that's my way I look you at can. it. You can, take it out, you can be a bung, can't you? Yeah, you can but, do, yeah. But it's there for a reason, it's just... Like, <sighs> <laughs> it does a job, so I'm putting in another one. Yeah, so, here we go. So what we found out so far is, yes. right, it's so hard to get a spanner or anything on there. Yeah, manifold cover off first, obviously. Yeah, so that comes off first, two 10mm bolts there, or yeah. nuts, you say, there and yeah. there. Uh, I found trying it straight off to get a spanner in here yeah, is hard yeah, yeah. because if you look there, that's part of your, your manifold yeah, there. Yeah. To get the spanner in there is a nightmare. Yeah. So... I'm trying to get a shot of it. Where is it? Where the fuck is it? It's there. See what oh, I mean? Yeah, there it is. So to get a spanner in there, it's a bit awkward. It is. It's there, look. It's that. But we snapped the plastic off. Yeah. We'll get so, to, we'll what get did to you that, do, Chris? We'll, we'll get to the snapping off bit in a minute. Yeah. So we decided to take the airbox out to get the spanner yeah. in. Take your... Uh, Take that off first. What's it called? Your MAF. The MAF sensor. Yes, Unplug yeah. that and then just four clips or two clips Three. and then just flop that out of the way. Three clips. One at the back there, bud. Oh, one at the back and it gives you room. But and then what did you do? Also, that didn't make a difference because you still can't really get a spanner on it. No. You get a spanner on it but you can't get enough leverage. Yeah, to snap it. So, we decided, seeing as this side of it was broke, yep. as, as you're looking at it now, obviously like this, yep. that had all corroded and broke. Yep. So we decided then to snap this top bit off yep. to then get a 24mm socket right down on top of the bugger and undo him. Let's do that then. So then, we'll just go down over the top. It is tight but he does go. Over the top like this. Sort of. That's on, isn't it? Don't know, mate. Yeah. No. No? <sighs> this was supposed to be easy, Benj. I got it on there. 
because I'm the man. Let's give it a little spin. Still can't get it on. What the fuck are you playing at? I did this before we started filming. It just went on straight away. Shut up, toss pot. Right, either way. It's not on there, mate. It fucking it's is. It's not. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope you're going to fucking edit this out. Nope. Saturday snippet. How to not take out an idle control valve. <laughs> oh, mate, hang it on. Do you like me to do it for you? I'll take the camera. Let the expert have a go. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I just absolutely fluked it last time. I think you might have done it. <laughs> Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Good on, mate. So now again, I'm going to have to put up with that all day. He's got more patience than me. Oh, there <coughs> is that. Oh, it's cooler, isn't it? What? It's cooler than that. Is it? Mm. There it is, that. There's the damage one, that's the bit that snapped off, and obviously the hose won't go on it, and it, I just idle super, super rough, doesn't it, without that on? Yeah. People do put a bung in instead of that, but we thought we'd just, it's there for a reason, like Chrissy said, so. Simple as that. 24 mil socket, snap your bits off, get it on, and then when you put the new one in, you'll be able to just do it tight do enough. It. The hard bit is cracking it off. Yeah. But piss, piss, mate, if you know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Move, that's, gotta be, that's gotta be an intro right there. <laughs> gotta be. Oh fuck. Right, so you can put your new pipe on. Fire's going up. Oh, he's a little fucking warm in here. Oh yeah. Oh look, we've got this as well. How fucking sick is that? This is slowly becoming a fucking warm in here. It is, it will be. And we also got this one. Huh? My dream car up there, look. Not my dream car, but I'd say my second to dream car. It's only an S3000, but I love them. Anyway. Come on then. Come on, mate. Fucking hell, don't rush me. Right, so we're going to tighten them up hand tight. Is he in there? Can you put your hose on there? Oh no, you can't get it really, I suppose. Oh, well, that's awkward, isn't it? This is awkward, guy. Don't fucking snap that one for fuck's sake. That's what I'm worried about. I'm going to have to do it nice and slow, I think. Yeah. Nice yeah, and slow, Joe. Sorry about the crackling. Nope. See how bloody awkward this is, Jesus. Uh, Doesn't come off either, does it? That, that bit. Bloody awkward. As you can see, how awkward it is. That's the hardest thing. Don't want to be taking. Don't want to be taking loads of shit off. That's the thing. I want it to be as easy as possible, but yeah, it's one we'll of those. That you just got to persevere and just literally turn it a bit by bit. We'll come back to you once we've uh, tightened them down. All right, see, so we do this so that you don't have to go through all this. Just take that out. It's not hard. Do you really up at the bottom? Release that clamp there. Jobs are good. And then you can actually get your hand in there to tighten it up properly. Because as you know. These engines are an absolute pain in the fucking butt to work on. But it gives you so much more room. Right, she's in. Another top tip for you all. It looks like, it's really hard to show you, but it, it doesn't basically go in all the way by the looks of it. And we've checked mine, and mine is the same. So there is a few threads poking up. If you tighten it as far as it can go, that pipe that pokes out is pointing towards the rocker cover, which you don't want. So. It's still tight, so don't do it all the way up, as tight as you can, because oh, it'll be facing the wrong direction. <laughs> so we'll get all the hoses back together, um, put the airbox back on, start her up, and then hopefully we're golden. No leaks. Nothing good. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. 
is back on, man from the cover is back on, all back together. Took about 16 hours. Didn't. Oh. We didn't have the right size spanner, which didn't help <coughs> at all, did it? No, it didn't help. No. 24? 24. Yeah. 24 was spanner you needed, we didn't have one, so let's use adjustables, which did not help at all. So that's it. That's how you change your idle that's control it. valve or whatever the frick it's called, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, that was your Saturday snippet. Saturday snippet, Pete. Enjoyed this new segment. Thank you to Dive Days as always for sponsoring us. You absolute legends. Yes. Thank you, Danny. Don't forget Matt. your toxic knobs code COWB15TK. Carbon 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 ride. Cowabunga. We love you all. We should see you on the next video. Peace out. Bye bye. bye.